Hey guys, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Homestead. Uh, today's another dreary day with lots of rain. Um, it was supposed to be actually sunny today, but uh, you know, they got that wrong. Like they weren't gonna do. So, uh, we're heading to Menards to pick up the metal for the other side of that barn roof and uh, a few other miscellaneous things, some lumber, maybe do uh, my tool bench in the garage, finally get that finished up. But I started that last year, but uh, need to get that organized over there because I want to get the John Deere 2510 in the shop so I can start uh, taking the loader off of it and getting it fixed up because it's just going to be sidekick to the Ford as long as the Ford keeps, uh, keeps running. So I want to fix it up a little bit, give it a tune up, put a new seat on it, uh, maybe some paint, we'll see, but uh, a few things I got to fix on it. So I want to get it in the shop and in order to do that I got to do some organizing. You know, you <clears throat> you build a great big barn or shop or whatever, think you got to have enough spot to put everything and it never works out like that. So, oh well. Just takes a little bit of organization and uh, we'll get it where we can get the tractor in there and start working on it. So we're going to head up to Menards and get our material. Get on back here, hopefully this rain shuts down. Uh, maybe I can work on getting the two by six fly raptors put in and uh, maybe the fascia or something but if it keeps raining I'm not gonna do anything maybe work on it tomorrow or something like that all right let's get hooked up to the trailer and get on the road all right guys made it back from uh, Menards I uh, got most of the stuff I needed uh, some of the stuff they didn't have in stock so I had to get special order uh, basically the uh, the rake cap they didn't have in stock so have special order that two weeks so, it's not something I need right now to continue but um, they had everything else I needed but I'll tell you what materials right now are still still up a little bit especially the metal you know that's the ridge and then the metal there and then I have like the, that stuff I special ordered it took a month to come in all it is is drip edge but I mean all that right there is like a thousand bucks and on the other side it only cost me 800 and some dollars so it went up 200 dollars you know from about a month apart or whatever doing that roof so <clears throat> that's a bummer but it needs to be done so i'm gonna get the wood unloaded and get it in the garage it's still raining here so probably won't be working on the roof until next weekend but i did end up getting my draw bar for the 6610 i misspoke on the last video it's called it a 1066 i don't know why but it's 6610 ford so i got the draw bar so we'll go ahead and put that on make sure that's the right part that came um that way i can hook up the implements to it right now i don't have a draw bar on it so we'll get this unloaded and then we'll go in there and see if we can get that draw bar hooked up all right got all that unloaded um just had to bring the wood and the metal i just kept on the um trailer the wood right there this place is a wreck guys i mean i got stuff stacked shoved in the corners it's just a mess hay balers in here well when you got all these projects going on it's just sometimes you just gotta put stuff away but you don't put it actually away you just put it under roof and uh, big garages are a big catch-all that's for sure so anyways got the draw bar uh, i ordered it from all states ag parts i usually use them to get any kind of parts that they're it's a real easy uh website to navigate to find you know part numbers and stuff like that so let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing in there and cross the fingers hopefully it fits um it's supposed to be the one for this tractor so let's see uh See if we can get it in there. I don't know what I'm doing. Never put one on a 6610, but they're all all the tractors are pretty much similar. You got pins up front, and then it just slides through the two uh, uh, pins in the back. So let's go ahead and get this thing on. there all right taking the second hole here looks about right on this pin so 
go in there. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand here. And, uh, This thing clips on the top side. Maybe. Oh, let me see. How hard is it to clip in there? Oh! Oh man, that hurt. Let's pinch my finger. All right, I don't know if I like that, that's it. Hmm. That's it, that pin's there and then the clasp is up there. Goes around the pin, holds that pin in place. And that's it. So that's that's about it. You know, it sets down in these in between these two pins, keeps it from going back and forth. So that'll work. I'll probably have to slide it in one more. It's sticking out a little too far. Um, <clears throat> but looks good. All right. Well, draw bars on. Now it kind of looks more like a tractor. You can see. I'll tell you what, my GoPro is not picking up uh, very well in this dim light. Um, I don't know what to do about that. Let's walk back here. It's a little brighter. So when I went to Menards, I was up there for two hours. So I had a special order in. It's been a week since they emailed me to come pick up the special order. And it was, you know, aluminum metal. So they put it in one of those special crate boxes or shipping crates or whatever you got to pay fifty dollars for but uh, when i went up there they couldn't find the order and i kind of looked at the clearance shelf and i seen the six pieces of gray drip edge kind of looked like what i ordered but i don't know why they would put it in the clearance so i told them about it but they just kept trying to find it and trying to find it and here it was it so <laughs> i was up there for two hours letting them try to find that and it was sitting over there all along but you know it, I usually go to Menards. I don't ever have a problem there. Um, they're a little bit cheaper than other two big box stores, but that wasn't a uh, very pleasant experience for sure. But they found it and we got everything taken care of. So, but like I said, the weather's kind of crappy outside, so I'm not really gonna get on the barn roof and risk falling off of it or something stupid like that. I'll just wait until better, better weather. There's nothing in that barn, so it doesn't matter to be open like this um at all so but uh, i know this is a shorty but i just wanted to show you getting that draw bar on there we have a few other things we got to get done on this tractor change oil and stuff like that but you know we have all winter to do that and i told you about the 2510 what i want to do with that you know get it in the shop and get it all you know touched up and tuned up and all that good stuff and probably take that loader off of it that loader's seen better days and uh, it's been worked over its life. So I think it's time to retire that loader off that tractor. And that tractor can do the hay rake in, and all the little odds and ends that we do out in the field, grab the hay wagons, move them around, you know, uh, it deserves a break. It's been farming since 1966 pretty hard. So we'll give it a break, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. That's for sure. So it's always good to have good two tractors on the, two good tractors on the farm. So, all right guys. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Helps the channel out quite a bit. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.